basically um ukrainians did carry um some good um, good operation in in bransk right um i don't really remember what they what they targeted was it like an oil refinery or something like that um i don't really remember but but basically russia has responded responded saying that that their uh, massive like artillery or not artillery like a missile strike is is basically uh, like a ret- retribution for a terrorist act a teract as it's called in in brand's um which is like do you have s- any fucking self-awareness you are bombing ukrainians ukrainian cities for a terrorist act while you are performing a terrorist act for more than a year right now obviously it's a rhetorical question so obviously none of those cunts have any fucking self-awareness or anything like that right but um but yeah russia launch a message dmitry kuleba ukrainian um who who is it uh is he like a foreign affairs yeah minister of foreign affairs uh russia launched a massive mils- missile and drone drone attack in Ukraine overnight, and mind you, this is 9th of March 2023. 9th of March, 20, so 8th of March, International Women's Day, which is celebrated, obviously, both in Russia and in Ukraine. And Putin was doing a speech, actually. That Kant has an audacity to actually go and do a speech saying, everything is fine, dear women, thank you, whatever for for all of your stuff while he's actually taking sons and and um, husbands and brothers of those women and sends them to death because that's what's happened when they go onto ukrainian territory it they're they're dead they're dead in in span of two weeks to a month so yeah um Yeah. <laughs> Kherson, the like Russians uh, artillery st- uh, had an, performed an artillery strike on Kherson, uh, which they claimed right, like um, before it was deoccupied, they were claiming Kherson is with Russia forever, our brothers, we saved you, whatever, and now four uh, four people are dead there. Not now. Like, and not only for people obviously but just like just the whole like it's i don't um it's hard to describe just how like mind fucking this whole situation is in terms of like again like i'm living in this fucked up belarus country and just reading certain news and seeing somehow how some people react to those news like older generations like parents and whatnot right and and then like looking at at those things, like again, Russia claims Kherson is our brothers, whatever, and then once it it is deoccupied, they're bombing them, and not even burying an eye or anything like that. I just like. I just can't understand how people like that can exist in this world. And it's kind of. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating to be honest that people like that do exist in this world. Um, but yeah, that happened basically. Um, that happened. So Ukraine almost every time does a very precise, a very careful strike or like little operation with their drones and things like that on a key position of like Russian military or. Again, like things like oil refinery, things like that, that that directly contribute to the war or directly can um, kind of disrupt, disrupt some sort of like a um, yeah, like some d- disrupt basically the the Russian forces, even even for you know like a week or two, whatever, um, and and it sort of push them to change their logistics you know like maybe move some 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 things further from the front lines which obviously means that now it takes more time to actually um, bring you know like ammunitions or 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 fuel things like that right 
and then Russia all the time without exceptions. Without exceptions. Retaliate in terms of bombing civilians all the time without exception. And then what they do is on the propaganda channels they go and they say that they've destroyed Nazis in Ukraine, whatever. And what's even more fucked up what's even more fucked up is that people older generation believe in that lie even in Belarus because I had a uh, I had a conversation quite recently with my father's acquaintance friend who was repeating to me almost war they all repeat almost word by word Russian propaganda and I was just and he li like luckily that guy at least like when I called Putin a cunt he was agreeing with that he wasn't agreeing that Lukashenko is also a cunt which is to me like how can you hold this position in your mind how can you on the other on one hand say that Putler is a cunt but that this mustache cockroach motherfucker is not a cunt how like they are the same and one Lukashenko wouldn't exist without Putin because like I said before you need money to actually have this regime to pay to all those cunts who are the bedrock of your regime all those policemen and KGB and whatever um yeah that was an interesting conversation it's just it's the same thing with older generation almost without exceptions they watch stupid propaganda on tv they don't bother um having good quality sources of information even online because online you go onto youtube and the second you start clicking on some garbage shit atrocious shit youtube will just oblige it will give you more of this same shit and then suddenly if you don't have fucking critical thinking and apparently apparently none of the or or basically none of the so-called adults um older generation generation of my parents apparently none of them have fucking critical thinking skills and it's so bizarre like i'm so perplexed by it by, by, by this fact like yeah anyway okay <laughs>